Hey guys, welcome to video number nine in our series of Windows commands. These are useful window com Windows commands and commands that you should learn right now. Before we jump into the first one, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment. I love chatting with the audience and I always respond to all of the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe guys. Cause like I said, I'm really trying to grow the channel. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's just one click. Gives you a little exercise in your clicker finger there and it helps me out by growing the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in guys. First command of the day, we're gonna be focusing on the network side today. First one's gonna be ping. So you follow ping by an address. It could be either an IP address or a DNS name, doesn't matter. This is basically gonna test connectivity from your computer to whatever you specify. So I can get to google.com. Thank goodness, don't know what we'd do without that, right? Ping, very useful utility if you're, you know, into IT or into networking. Again, it's kind of to troubleshoot, test connectivity. It's an ICMP protocol. I've done different videos on that. If you're interested in networking, check out some of my network playlists. I've got a network nugget playlist. I've got some other stuff. I'll be dropping a physical Cisco lab um, mini series. I might make it a series. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I do a lot of networking stuff. I was formerly, before I came a manager, I was a network engineer for several years. So it's one of my passions. But anyways, I'll get off my soapbox there. Ping is a very useful utility. If you can't get to a website, make sure you can ping it. Maybe it's down, right? Okay. Second one of the day, guys, is gonna be tracert, which is short for trace route. So let's trace the route to google.com. So what does that even mean? We're gonna see how many hops, as you see here, a maximum of 30 hops, right? That's gonna be our TTL value, 30. A hop is essentially a layer three or a router. So how many routers stand between my computer and google.com? This will show us how many and it'll also show us what they are. This can take a little bit guys, so we'll uh, give this a few seconds here. I've got a, a good video if you're interested on trace routes and it explains how it essentially uses ICMP or ping. It's kind of like ping on steroids, right? So it's taking the, the ping or the ICMP protocol and it's leveraging that by manipulating the TTLs. So it's going to return the value of the first hop, the second hop, the third hop, and so on. The way that it does that is it manipulates the TTLs. So we're still hopping here, guys. Kind of reminds me of that uh, Big Daddy movie where they're watching that kangaroo hop, 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 hop. What do you say? If you don't know about that, you should definitely know about that. Big Daddy is the... Okay. Any day now. Like I said, this can take some time, guys. It's going through and resolving and stopping at each hop along the way. We'll give it a few more seconds here. This is a very useful tool if you're experiencing an outage. This can help you understand where the outage is. So maybe your site is not down, but you're not able to reach the internet. This will show you what hop along the way, because uh, maybe you're making it for, past the ISP's first router, but they've got something down in another town or something like that. You can let them know, hey, I'm getting all the way to 142.250.164.40, and then I'm dropping off. They probably already know that if they have an outage at an ISP, but just a good utility to understand where the break may be and how far you're getting. All right, so the trace is complete and it shows we made it all the way there and we had 12 hops. Clearing the screen, because I've already talked too much about that command. Let's move on to the next one. This is gonna be net stat. This is a very good command as well. I like to use net stat with some um, parameters, so I'm going to do that. So if I do net stat dash NA, that'll give me numerical values and it'll show me all, all the actives. So this is basically going to show you what's going on on the network as far as your computer is concerned, right? Um, you can pipe this out. It'll show you all the different connections, TCP, UDP, um, what ports they're on whether or not it's established, whether it's waiting, whether it's listening. So if you need to see, if you're looking for just information about, let's say this address, 
we'll copy that clear the screen i'll show you a little trick here you can do pipe find str which just stands for find string it's kind of the windows equivalent of grep and linux and we can paste that in there this is basically going to filter out that massive output of the netstat na and just find what contains that ip address you can put any string in here if you're looking for certain ports feel free to do that just put colon in the port number and it'll return anything that has that string in the value so there we go now a lot less noise and we can see maybe you're working with um give you an example an interface person they're saying hey the interface isn't working you ask them what's the destination ip what port and you just run netstat for that IP and you'll say, hey, yep, I see it's connected on port 443, which wouldn't be the interface, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so it kind of rules out the, the network because trust me, everyone wants to blame the network every time. And it's usually not the network, by the way. Okay, the last command of the day is going to be ns, sorry, ns lookup. And you need to tell it what to look up. So we'll say google.com. This is gonna resolve an IP. I'm sorry, it's gonna resolve a name for an IP. You can do the opposite if you had an IP and you wanted to resolve the name, you can do reverse lookup. As long as the name server has populated what they call a PTR record, a reverse lookup record. So this is very useful if you need to understand, um, if you see a connection with an IP address and you need to know the name or you just wanna know the IP address of a certain server or domain name, NS lookup's the way to go. I'll show you one pro tip on NS lookup. If you just hit enter, it'll drop you into another um, prompt here. It'll tell you, give you a little information, right? It'll say, this is your default NS server. I can change that. I can say server 8888, which is Google's DNS server. And now I'm gonna use dns.google which is 8888 to do my resolution so if i don't trust or i want to make sure let me give you a scenario let's say you update a public dns record uh, it does take time for these things to propagate they have to go out throughout the whole internet right to update records across the world so you can start checking you know google's dns you can get some other ns or some name servers ips and then you can change servers like you see here and then look it up, right? So let's just say, okay, what's yahoo.com? Oh, okay, they've got a whole bunch, good. Maybe that hasn't propagated over to Google's other DNS server. I'm sorry, that's a level three, apparently. So let's check the yahoo.com there. And it looks like it's gonna be consistent with what Google has. But this is how you can check um, what FQDNs or fully qualified domain names or URLs are resolving to across different servers. So just a little pro tip there for you guys. See, oh, we got to exit first. CLS. All right, guys, that's it for today. We had some network related commands in this ninth video of the series. We looked at ping. That's an easy way to check connectivity to a destination. You need to say ping followed by an IP address or a DNS name, and that'll try to ping another workstation server whatever the case may be just note that if you're on your own network and you're looking at windows pc sometimes the windows firewall may be on and it's blocking icmp so it can be a false positive that it's down so that's one thing to check if you can't get to it but you know it has network connectivity check the firewall but for the most part a really good utility um, is paying for testing connectivity between two different nodes then we took a look at trace route or trace RT from the command. And that is going to be tracing a route between one device and another. And it's going to show you all those hops or routers again, right? Any layer three hops along the way. It's going to show you those. It'll show you the hop count, how long it takes, things like that. Next one was netstat. That's going to show us all the network activity, whether that be um, sockets and waiting you know, open waiting, listening, I should say, excuse me, um, whether they're established connections and so on and so forth. So netstat is a really good one. You can even start using that if you're um, in security and you're thinking maybe someone's, you know, connected to your computer. You can do a little bit of investigating with netstat. Another, or the last command we looked at was NS lookup, and that's related to DNS. So we can check for 
um, IP addresses against fully qualified, fully qualified domain names and vice versa. Showed you how to jump from different DNS servers to check the um, NS records against different sources to make sure that propagation of changes have occurred. So yeah, that was kind of a lot there in, in a short nugget, 10 minutes or so. Like I said, I've got a lot of videos on networking guys. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, definitely give me a thumbs up either way, but do check out my network related playlist and videos. All right guys, this was kind of a long one. So I'm gonna cut it now. You guys have a great day. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done so already. Really appreciate it. Take care guys.